Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And guys, we're going to be checking out something that honestly, honest to God, <laughs> I wasn't even aware was available. Uh, one of my viewers had asked me about setting up Carolina rigs, Texas rigs, and I was like, I thought it was you know in reference to fishing at those particular lakes since we've got you know the heron river in um lone star lake but th that's not it that's a setup that they just recently added to the game now i did not know about this i really you know i tend to fish mostly with spoons and uh spinners and all of a sudden you know they're talking about this new stuff well there isn't much about this anywhere out there guys there's no tutorial nothing so we're going to be checking this out and seeing just how this works now i've heard somewhere in the backwoods <laughs> about carolina rigs and texas rigs and what it really is is just a, a method for displaying the bait in different ways when you're casting it so I'll be honest, I never got that fancy. I was not a bass fisherman. I usually fish fished most of the time for catfish, which, you know, has a completely different style. But we're going to check this out. This is going to be kind of new for me. I think this is going to be new for <laughs> maybe a lot of people. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not as, you know, worldly as some other people are. But, you know, when I was growing up, we fished with what we had. We didn't have a lot of money for a lot of gear. And if we, in many cases, we made our gear. So, we're going to go in here and take a look at some of this stuff. Let's see here. Now, my understanding is some of this stuff is under terminal tackle. Okay, there it is. We've got rigs right here. Okay. Now, my understanding is you want to get the rigs. Let's see, these are the Carolina rigs. So, if we're going for bottom feeding fish like bass, and for using soft plastic baits like worms, crawls, and tubes. Hmm. Interesting. And looks like they got all different types of sizes for all different types of species. I think what we'll do here guys we're gonna try this out I think we're gonna probably go to Texas to do this because it should be functional everywhere we go honestly I might buy some others later on but right now we're gonna focus on trying to see how this works all right so that is a Carolina rig a Texas rig one of the easiest, most efficient ways to use soft plastic baits for bass fishing. See, that's the thing. I don't usually use soft plastic baits. That's why I'm aware, unaware of this stuff. Just slide some weights on the line, tie on a hook, thread on a soft plastic bait like a plastic worm, tube, or crawl, and you're ready to catch some big bad bass. Cool. All right. Let's get another one about the same size. I think I'll buy one of these two because I might decide to go for smaller there and go back to the Carolina ones all right and a three-way that's not something that was mentioned but what does that do one of the most well-known and simplest rigs the three-way rig features a three-way swivel that has separate attachment points for the main line the sinker and the Plumber. Hmm. Easy to set up. Three-way rigs provide smooth rotating and eliminate, eliminates line twists. Particularly efficient for going after predators like catfish, trout, pike, or bass. Hmm. That could be interesting. I'd like to see if it works with the catfish. Let's buy a couple of those. And I believe there was something else in here. It was some kind of... Uh, but I, I had seen these, but I didn't know how they were to be used. So I'd already purchased some of these. There's some drop sinkers. Might as well get some small ones here. Let's see. I don't know how big we need, but probably not too big. Let's see. We've got 
bullet sinkers which I've got there's the regular sinkers there was something else it was under lures I think spinner tails that's what it is spinner tails Extremely efficient enhancement for lures such as spinners and spinner baits. Tails deliver superb flashing bait fish imitation. Okay. Well, I did buy one of these not knowing what it was exactly. But <laughs> let's see. This, uh, that's a two inch one. Let's get, that's the smallest they've got. I'm not, pay I'm not spending a bunch of cash on these guys. Ooh, that looks pretty. Let's buy that. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to learn something new, guys. Like I said, I don't usually fish with artificial bait most of the time, and I never did really much in real life. I always use live bait or spoons, so this should be a new experience for me. All right. Well, I did go ahead and set up my gear for Texas. So that's where we're going to try to put these lures into use here. So let's see, did those go in here? I don't know, I don't remember if it said it went in there. Let me see. Turn those hackle. Okay, and these offset hooks, that's another one that I think we need those too. but those are a little bit big for where we're going so they did they must have went in the backpack so I think we're good so I guess the reason I haven't seen these is because see I was wondering what this was it was a leader on there and usually for this you don't have a leader but it was for hooking up the rigs so I think what I'm gonna do for my jig winner I'm gonna set up a Texas rig Okay, and it's already got it measured and everything. That's cool. So, Texas rig. So, what kind of sinkers do we put on there? Bullet ones? I guess so. It doesn't say anything for the drop sinkers. That's probably for uh, fishing for other things. Yep, see the offset hook set up there. So, let's go ahead and put a... Let's try one eighth. Is that too big? No. And I'm going to set a n number one offset hook. And we'll find something here in the creepy crawlies. It should interest them. I've got some smaller lures here that we can use. Now those are kind of big there. Oh, well, I'm in the home. There we go. Yeah, see, I've got some small crawfish here and small grubs. I don't think I have any worms. I'll tell you what, I want to try this newt. Let's try the newt. Okay. So I've got a Texas rig on that one. Let's set this one up with... Uh, something different here let's see well wow, that one needs line that would help <laughs> all right yeah let's put some of this braid on there that'll do now we're we'll get a Carolina rig on there Sounds like there's a dog having a fit out there. It's not my dog. Let's see. Seriously? Let's see. Carolina rig. We're going to set that to... 7.9 well no let's go ahead and set that to 5.9 and we're gonna put some sinkers on there not monstrous ones okay it's not telling me it's too heavy it's a good thing and 
number two hook. And what kind of lure should I use? Let's see. Let's use a one inch shad. See, we're going after we're going after some small fish here, so it says it's optimal, that's good. Now I'll use a do a three-way here in a little bit, but let's see. Can I put that on the spinner? Those little tail things? Or did I get one? I thought I did. Ah, it's over here. Okay. I'll be damned. There it is. And let's see. Well, let's just go with that. It's a jolly spinner. It's been efficient before. All right, we'll try that. There's nothing here. Hit that. These are all going to be too big. But we'll go ahead and see what happens, guys. This this is going to be cool. All new, new stuff to try. Now we are here. Now I can only assume that the same spot should work just as well with these particular pieces of gear. Looks like we're sort of at a peak. The big peak is about 5 p.m. So if they don't do too well, we'll go ahead and change to something else. But let's go ahead. We're going to do a private room so we don't disturb anyone. And let's go on in and see what happens. All right. It's a cloudy day. It's a cloudy day. All right. Let's see here. What do we got? Nope. We don't want that. We want to go to the new one. All right. We're going to try this newt. He, she turned me into a newt. <laughs> you all don't know the... <laughs> don't, not unless you know Monty Python. Well, I tell you, it's... An, Get some distance. Check it out. Damn. Well, let's see if anything goes for it. Now, I've got some activity over here, so that looks good. Supposedly, the bass go for these guys and the pike. There are grass pickle around here. There we go. There we go. All right. Very nice. Spotted bass went for it. Spotted bass went for it. Very good. I just need to be a little more patient. Just need to be a little more patient. You really got to keep that stop and go going. Just like that. I think if you can keep two notches going, you'll probably be alright. Also, that may not be the best color or best lure for this. So I'll tell you what, let's switch to a different one. Let's try a let's try one it let's try a two inch shad. 
since it's white, it may stand out a little bit better. I know they'll go for these. I have fished with these and had success with them. So... There we go. Very nice. So they work and they work perfectly fine right here at Texas. So that's great. Use them early, early on. Let's see. Let me look at this. This is, of course, a Texas rig. The Texas rig is supposed to be a pretty simple setup. It's pretty kind of straightforward. My understanding is the reason you do the offset hook is so that you can thread this guy on here. And when you do that, the offset also allows for the fish to catch it more in the lip. That's what I, at least I've been able to read up enough on that. So it's just a different technique for doing something. Now, I am interested to see if they'll go if I can get catfish off of a crawl. Now that has some interest for me because it's a new way of catching them that we haven't seen in this game before. So I think what I might do for this one, which I'm using a Carolina rig, I might tr try using one of these crawls. And let's try a pumpkin one. Try a small. Now, like I said, this is a Carolina rig, so we're going to be using a different presentation. So we might want to switch over to the Texas if we don't get any takers on this. But I'm going to throw it right out there in that hole. I don't know for sure that they're going to go for it. Maybe they have to be bigger. But I'm sure the cat. I mean, not the catfish, but the bass will probably go for it, if nothing else. Yeah, but it's in the deep water. Alright guys, I have tried every kind of crawl that I can here, and nothing has gone for it, at least not over there. I've got basically a little bit bigger one this time with a two-odd hook, and still on here, and I was doing a night one. It's so gloomy, I don't know if that's part of the problem, or if they just don't go for this kind of bait, or lure, or if they don't go for this presentation. This is the Carolina presentation. I do know they went for the Texas without any issues at all. But nothing is going for this crawfish. Yep, they are just not going after that right now. Alright, we're going to switch over this one. I'll put the spinner tail on. And we'll see if they go for that. Kind of curious. I put one that should show up really well. It's hard to say. Alright guys, I think what we're going to do, I am going to advance time. 
I am going to take it to the peak period. Yeah, see, we're on a downswing, and this isn't the best period anyway, so maybe a little misleading. Let's go to 6 p.m., which should be a good time. It'll be brighter. And maybe these guys will bite this time. You never know. You never know. And again, like I said, it is a cloudy day. Not the best time for this kind of thing. However, it would be really good for catching the smallmouth buffalo, which they are not going to go for this. So, spinner here. Ooh. Let's try this bright blue tail. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but could <laughs> let's give it a shot so far haven't had a whole lot of luck on the other stuff let's try our pike spot here There we go. I don't know why Crappie went for it. Huh. Well, that's cool. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, the Texas rigs seem to work really well here. And there's our grass pickerel, guys. There it is. There's our grass pickerel. That's what I was trying to get. The Texas rigs seem to be working really well here. Now, I'm using... I'm going to go ahead and put the different lure on there and I'm just gonna see if we get same results or if we get nothing and if we get nothing that's gonna show that for some reason or another the fish here just don't go for it maybe it will maybe it won't I don't know but I love to test things so it might just be the presentation of the Carolina. No. No. They are biting it too. And that's a decent spotted bass. Definitely. So they go for the shad. Try a two inch grub here. kind of disappointed about the spinner tail here. I mean, nothing has gone for it. So... Yeah, I think a lot of our issues with this is the gloominess. It is... Like I said, very gloomy. So you're going to want to, if you get a cloudy day like this, you're going to want to get something that's kind of bright, that stands out. And 
There we go. But we are getting them. Alright, so definitely the peak period was the big issue. I'm going to give this one more try because I just cannot believe for the life of me they wouldn't be attracted to this. So let's sink all the way to the bottom. Just do this. I tell you what, let's just do a straight retrieve. Or stop and go with the slowest. Like we would do for trout. That was it. I'll be damned. Presentation. Presentation's everything, guys. And that got us a grass pickerel. I'll be damned. That was it. That was it. See? We're learning. We're lining. <laughs> we're lining, we're lining, we're lining. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah, you have to be persistent with this. You got to try different things, different presentations. If you have a lot of trouble, don't give up on it. But honestly, there just isn't that much out there. To show us how to do this, guys, you're gonna have to play around. See, it's got my curiosity up. Nope, 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 nope. I want to hit three. Alright. I'm going to try one more thing, guys, before we end this. But I'm going to throw a one and a half inch crawl on there. I'm going to put on my Texas rig since that's been the most successful. And I'm going to try to see if a catfish will go for this. And it may not. But I'm going to do it with a low setting. Do a slow stop and go. Last time I tried the fast. I'm going to do it like to a count of five. Yeah, they just do not go for the crawls guys they just do not do it they do not like them for whatever reason in this location I don't know what the deal is but I think I might try a tube here just to see if anything goes for the tube kinda wanna get one more fish before we end this I really like the Texas rigs here. I've been getting more bites off of that than anything else. So All right, there we go. Last one for the day. There you go. Spotted bass. They go for the tubes too. Well, anyway, guys, I tell you, that's the first time using this gear. It's not 
it's it's a new experience it's definitely a new experience definitely worth the time to play around with and get used to one thing that's going to help too guys check make sure you check the fish species because many of the species here do not go for that now this says they go for the crayfish so didn't get any obviously they did go for it here with the grass pickerel even though it doesn't say it does <laughs> so you know it's like just because it says or doesn't say doesn't necessarily mean anything either but most of the fish here do not go for that I mean the spotted bass go for just about anything but this one was a big surprise for me the white crappie had gone for one of those and I was extremely pleased with that it was the I believe it was the shad which struck me as odd but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe I think I'm going to take this to Mudwater River and do some testing there guys so that maybe we can get a good episode and see if we can't get catfish to bite this stuff if not there then the Heron River I'm sure the flatheads might Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.